Good afternoon, fellas. It's all Raptor Jesus from Altered Games. And I'm doing a little something different than my Boot Hill game. I've been running Gamma World First Edition. So I had to go and make a, a, a map of the United States. <laughs> I actually didn't make it fully. I uh, used the Gamma World First Edition map and just kind of traced it because you can trace an underlay. And it's actually around uh, Kirky or Albuquerque. You know, and there's Santa Fe. And these uh, black uh, dash lines are supposed to represent the old Mergian highways. Mergian is, Mergia is what they call America. And these little ones are meant to be roadways. Like little trails and such. And uh, I'm actually running a completely different style of game. I see there's N Ever, which is supposed to be Enver, you know, Denver. And uh, south is Radoz. If you can guess where that is, then you know your geography a bit. Uh. <laughs> but the idea of this is it's actually a multiple objective multiplayer game with Fog of War. So each, there's, each player is playing by themselves in a play by post game. And they're a leader of one of the 13 cryptic alliances in Gamma World, which is kind of my favorite part of Gamma World, is these alliances that kind of run things. And they're like secret societies, you know, the mystery schools, like back in the day, where they have different, like, hand signals and symbols and goals in life, because each of these players is they're basically building up a faction uh, in order to take over freedom, but one of my players caused a bit of a, a mischief up in the mountains and he kind of had to transfer over you know to a new uh, <laughs> a new location so I had to add more to my map here yeah, I'm actually adding a good old junk town which is a uh, what people used to call Grand Junction back when I was a teenager cuz it was just full of trash when you first went into the city it was like the first thing you saw was just trash everywhere uh, they cleaned it up and it looks a lot better but we also used to call it junk town cuz this is where you go to get all your drugs when you're a kid all your hardcore drugs you could get up here so, you know, unfortunate name but I'm just gonna use it for uh, my map because I also like junk town from Fallout 1 it's my favorite uh, like kind of like mission setup and stuff yeah and hoping after the I've been playing for about a week as a me uploading this video I think it'll be about a week since we started playing and uh, my plan is, is uh, this coming Saturday, I'm going to run a, a live session uh, with, com with players that are uh, going to be new to the, the setting, but they're playing in the setting that the faction leaders have created, and they've already done so much ridiculous stuff in a week, it's kind of fun. It's kind of my favorite way of uh, playing games now. I also just really love play-by-post games. I think people kind of it's like this lost art, art form nowadays because everyone just wants to play on voice chat and go on roll 20 and have your VV, VTT and uh, it just is tiring for the DM it's just you guys don't know how much stress the DM has when he has to work with all of this stuff he has to run like every single non PC he has to determine what they're doing if you want like a believable world anyway but you can actually offload all of that stuff to the players have the players play the king in your kingdom have him determine you know what they're doing uh, and it's something that you can do throughout the week and and build story I think more story than you can build in a live session sometimes because uh, I don't know it's just it's just different kind of medium uh, doing play by post and I'm not really doing uh, you know play by plays I just
players do their orders uh, since each day is treated as a real day in the world. So if it's Monday when we're posting, then it's Monday in Gamma Stone, you know? Which is what I call my campaign, so I think it's a fun name. <laughs> So I think it's really interesting playing at one-to-one -one time, real-time. Uh, there's a lot more that, like, matters. Like, resources m matter a lot if you're playing in real-time. And, you know, Shadow Dark kind of does this with their torch mechanic. They have torches in real-time. But I think you can expand that out just to everything. Have everything be real-time. doesn't mean, like, when you're going to the bathroom, your character has to go to the bathroom and take a break. No, be... Be reasonable with one-to-one -one time. Uh, I talk to people online all the time that just have the most ridiculous like things they come up with. I don't know why they they fight against these things so much. It it kind of makes me flabbergasted being a a twit. <laughs> That's what I'm calling people that use Twitter. They're twits, and I got a Twitter too, so I twit all the time. <laughs> yeah, people have a really strange uh, misconception about one-to-one -one time, and they think it's like some crazy, like, cult thing you're doing because you're playing at one-to-one -one time. Well, you know, Gary kind of did that in AD&D and in OD&D. It's in implied to do one-to-one -one time. A lot of these things are implied and the old RPGs because they stem from war games where uh, resources are ma matter, you know, it's a re it is a resource management game, that's what these old RPGs are, and I like that. I don't know why people don't want to track rations, they act like it's freaking rocket science, like, dude, just mark it off. Tally. Just do a little tally, there you go. It's so, it's so freaking hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, some, uh, the, my players, they don't care. Like, the people I play with, they think it's fun, They're, they accept it, they don't fight against it, so... Don't take things people say online when you have some sort of idea for a way to run games as, like, that's how everyone's gonna act. No, people online are idiots, unfortunately. Uh, it's very hard to find cool people online. So if you guys want to play with some cool people, I have a lot of cool people on my Discord server. And that's down in my description I'll put a link for my discord server and you guys should join and you should come play with us on Saturday at 5 45 p.m. on Mountain Standard Time that's we're always gonna play on Saturday at that time it's an open table if you're there awesome if you're not don't your character is not gonna get eaten he's back at base camp or something you know so I hope you guys enjoyed my ramblings and making a wasteland right, i guess that's the rest of the video fellows if you have any questions please comment down below i hope you like my video if you want to see more of this stuff please uh subscribe i hope you guys uh have a good game next time you play and keep your shield arm strong all right